Well, I didn't know it's going to turn out uh, this way, but uh, it did happen. I had an incident at a police station, yet another one. I was going to make a report to the police. I came to the police station on June 21st, 2024 to trigger investigation against the uh, director of Novo Mesto Police, present director and previous directors. Uh, they just don't know what MK Ultra is. And um, I did post it here a few issues related to this type of uh, meeting at the police station on June 21st, 2024, which was Friday. This assault took place on Friday. This was the assault. I have referred to this assault as a attempt to trigger, I don't know, arrest to trigger, but this is basically the way they translated this to me would be the case. That's what they stated to me. But uh, Going deeper through this issue, I am. I will reappear at the police station is tomorrow. It's not exactly as early as tomorrow, but it's always on time. And I will file a criminal case against the two individuals who served me that day at the police station uh, based on. Based on, based on, uh, it's actually, it's quite deep stuff. And they warned me about not to do something, not to even try something like this. Uh, physical assault is what they insisted me you should not do. You should not file under any circumstances uh, criminal case against the two based on physical assault charges. You're going to bring the physical assault charges. We'll know. Find out what this and this and tra -la -la and so on. Uh, but I decided I will exactly do expand this into a, a case of the physical assault tomorrow. I'll file charges against these two individual Director of Novo Mesto Police, Jursic, for physical assault exercised on me, which took place on June 21st, 2024. It might sound a little bit weird to you, but it's really not. Let me explain. Why am I going to file charges against these two police officers based on a physical assault? Well, I did describe one police officer uh, that re that report you can file you can find here. This was as soon as I came home. But the other one I did not entirely. And so I went over the situation and according to MK Ultra, in which these two individuals were involved in it, I'm not supposed to even return to the police station. Uh, if I would return to the police station based on MK Ultra, in which these two individuals particularly were involved in, I would literally face a physical assault on a parking lot which already took place. That's in the rear of the parking lot, and a physical assault on me during MK Ultra also take, took place already in front of the police station. So this is not so simple, this is not so easy as I uh, initially thought that I would just follow their instructions. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, this is the main police station and the novel mass of police. That's where I am heading tomorrow. And uh, the violence took place against me. involving these two individuals 
and other police officers right where you see where the car is behind the sign um, like steel sand I think it's still sandy whatever it is that was sand this is what they assaulted me this is what this individual assaulted me uh, the second individual I'm talking about this individual about 190 centimeters tall and he was uniformed individual with a uh, three stars I want to make sure that he's heading to the jail tomorrow if not tomorrow this is just going to be a bit worse for the normal master for the Slovenian police in general let me see this stuff here uh, this is uh, with a three stars it should be right here Polizijski Svetnik 2 it should be like uh, I have no fucking idea what this is uh, actually no it's also here that's a police police officer with a it says number two uh, let me see if we have anything else here that would justify this stuff it was not generally the reactor policy I didn't see this um, I don't know this is some some something between whatever the fuck this is this is supposed to be like a higher ranking police officer uh, uniform police officer this is the, this is the individual who served me at the at the window like a receptionist like a dispatcher police officer uh, was for the day at the window yeah um, this thug not a police officer this criminal is the same age as the Robert Golot Galuot let's see what the Robert Galuot is his name is is 57 he is aged between 57 and age of Bord Pahor Bord Pahor is 60 so this guy is the same generation as Robert Golob as Bord Pahor he's between 57 and 60 now I'm certain when he assaulted me he have forgotten about everything he has saw <laughs> that's why this guy is going tomorrow probably to the jail if he's not going to the jail then what's going to happen is he will probably lose he will probably be temporarily suspended from the police work at least temporary and will turn out to be permanently this individual was beating me up at the Tsanich who was my trainer boxing trainer at the local club here in Novomesto boxing club uh, they del police delivered me inside of the ring drugged up where this guy was presenting himself like the toughest guy who destroyed absolutely everybody this was the strongest guy he's about 190 centimeters tall and he repeatedly would hit me so we are talking about here physical assaults yeah we are talking about clear about the physical assaults we're talking about here repeated physical attacks which even took place in front of the police station and also in the rear of the police station in this area here for which this thug this criminal insisted he would wait for me next time when I come to the police station so that he could assault me attack me already at the rear of the parking lot according to MK Ultra and it was also shoveling in the rear parking lot of the police station pushing shoveling uh, very much related stuff to a case of Mitya Weber which I reported Mitya Weber is a husband from my niece who also came here to assault me
This is on May 11, 2024. So we are talking about one month and ten days about earlier time, but it was another assault that took place on me that was right here in the home. And with assault, he engaged in at a police station, talking about the two police officers, which assaulted me at a police station on June the 21st. The two believed, together with the psychiatrist, cops, with the directors, they will in fact justify assault on me at the house, to which the batteries were involved in it. Except that there is a big difference between the two assaults. except that there is a huge, huge difference between the two assaults. What exactly is the difference between the two assaults? The main difference between the two assaults There is a big difference between the two assaults. Let me get to the left side of it. Okay. This is a table that you see right there. And I'm going to just screenshot this table like this. There's a huge difference. There's many differences. There's not only one difference between these assaults. That's why I know this guy is going to get arrested tomorrow. That's a big difference between these assaults. Well, one thing is, whatever took place at home here, let's do this one here first. Uh, you can hear me on recorder, taking shit, after taking shit, after taking shit, the shit went on for half an hour. Shit after shit, Shit after shit, shit after shit, talking already for maybe even, I don't know, maybe minute, while sitting on the chair, calmly sitting on a chair, calmly sitting on a chair, uh, after this individual break through the door, these are big differences, and these are the differences they're going to have to deal with tomorrow. You go to the video, you watch the video, and you will understand exactly what I'm talking about. This is the door both of these police officers violently were opening. With a second police officer who was, who was at a reception, the one I told you about right now, uh, he just broke through the door, yeah, and he approached to me violently, very aggressively. He had a very aggressive look on his face, and he had a very aggressive language he used toward me. He was very aggressive, like, aggressive. This is the door that is just from this lobby area here. I'm going to put the links below so that you can see. So that you can see the, the two links, yeah. We, we have a screenshot here, yeah. Um, once you're going to hear me on the audio, when I change completely the voice, that's exactly about the time when I stood up because this criminal, this thug position himself right here next to the chair. In other words, he came into my space. He walked about, 
he went like this. He went behind chairs. And the thing about it is he didn't stop anywhere. But he went straight behind chairs and he approached to me straight to the chair and he was standing up right next to the chair. Like this. The distance will be determined based on the video recording which police will have to provide from this assault attack on me. And so I calmly answer the questions. I am late. I am, you know, laid back. Till it become evident that this individual is trying to intimidate me. And it became more than, in, uh, more than evident because I continued to ask him, why is he asking, acting so aggressive? Why did he came through the door like this and this and that? And so since he continued with this conduct against me, I did exactly, exactly, exactly as what he demanded from me to do to him. I stood up and I looked at the individual straight into the eyes. And then I changed the tone of my voice because I wasn't, I wasn't interested in playing game anymore. So now I wanted to have the answer. This is at the police station. Keep in mind, this is not somewhere out and open. It's at the police station. It's totally evident that this police officer is not alone. He's got a whole police station with him. He is, in other words, well, be, well being taken care of. He is on a safe place. Nobody's endangering his life, but I wasn't take his shit. So now I wanted to have the answers from this individual. What is he approach to me in his aggressive way like this? Why did he go through the door like this? What is he trying to intimidate me? What is he trying to establish? That's when he back out. That's when he back down this criminal. And according to him alone, he would do this because by the way, just as I explained in English language in the video I provided, this criminal was trained by American police to do this stuff, to provocate. In other words, he believed just like the niece's husband that would go and overreact against one physically, what would give him the opportunity since he was already entering my space and he had another individual, another police officer who was on this side right here who already started to extend his hands you know he had a hands like this yeah he had a hands like this he had a hands like this and he already started to do like this with the hands when i stood up he already was getting himself ready that he's gonna grab me and the same thing was with this thug you know, once they created the incident enough that they, the two started to feel that it's going to develop into physical confrontation, he too started to move his hands nervously. The two both started to move hands nervously. I know the trick, I know the trick all too well, but what I wanted to do is, I wanted to see how far they're going to go once I stand up and I look at him in the eyes and I wasn't pleasant. I was rather hostile toward him. And I wanted the answers right there, right then. If they're going to, let's say, have a guts to put the hands on me now, because I didn't move my hands, and I was the one in control of the situation, I wanted to get the answers right there and right now. And I voiced the, the sound, the voice you know, I started to bitch, in other words, about their criminal conduct toward me that day. I wasn't take the shit anymore. I didn't come to the police station to take the shit from the shit. <coughs> and so he backed down. He changed the voice for what he believed I would continue to use. Different tone, different approach toward him. But I didn't, because I know the song all too well. For what he suggested in MK Ultra. Many people, however, they continue to act with what they are being provocated to act, to stand up the ground. And for what he also further suggested during MK Ultra, he presented his son to, to me during MK Ultra as a bully, as somebody who in the school had a lot of physical confrontations, fights, 
somebody who was the strongest in the school, somebody who handled all the kids in the school. That's how he presented of his age, obviously. That's how he presented himself also to me during MK Ultra. Certain that I would go and I would answer, uh, continue to answer as provoked that day. But I did not. Like I said, I know this song all too well. And as soon as he tuned down, as soon as they tuned down, to, the, both of them tuned down, I also changed approach. All I wanted now was, well, I, I advised the two that uh, the police tape is to be ready. That I want the police tape. That this is not over. And then we went apart for what the two believe would be still my taking even maybe photos of the sign inside of the police station. How is you're not allowed to take photos of it. Let me explain about this stuff here. When I returned back to the police station, just as was the case before I reached the police station that day to submit complaint against the police station and against the director of the police for continuation of engaging in violence against me. There were, there was a tall lady, police lady, blonde lady, uh, about whom I was crazy about during MK Ultra. But she stated to me, the only time you're going to see me is going to be when you, the day you're going to be arrested. And so the two came at the police station literally to arrest me. The second police officer who was with her was, a, was her assistant, an individual who facially demanded from me to see in him psychiatrist Peter Kopp. This is yet another police officer during MK Ultra, another violent thug. Once I returned that same day to rehearse the incident, the police was 100% certain because during MK Ultra they even insisted me there was like an older individual they would deliver me back who said okay before those come back you can come here and you can go inside of the lobby and you can video record the whole incident um, it was this two thugs this two thugs I'm so sorry I did not video record them. That was a, such a mistake. That was a very, very serious mistake. It's me. Uh, social workers compelled me basically to run. That was the same day when I came back. Uh, unless... The two come out. Yeah, I hope I'm just going to see maybe their feet, something, that I'm going to catch them there. Ah, there you go. Oh, the two police officers came back, yes. Uh, not that they came back, but this was also filmed on, huh, shit, it says here, June 22nd, 2024, at 4 o'clock something. These two police officers were also involved yeah, in MK Ultra. Those are two other criminals. And in when I came back to the police station on June the 22nd, 2024, these two that. individuals were designated, according to MK Ultra, to arrest me for entering. Uh, sorry. I don't even understand how the fuck was this. Uh, what is here, June 22nd? I probably really did this in June 22nd in the I I know it was, it was evening hours but I was sure it was the same day I came back it doesn't matter uh, these two individuals uh, according to MK Ultra these two guys 
where would be at the police station, according to MK Ultra, literally because I would enter inside of the facility, police facility, and do video recording. So these are two more criminals. They always work together. This is a team. They are like shorter police officers. Certain, according to the two criminals, they would watch me through the intercom. They would watch me video recording if only possible entering inside of the lobby area using the camera and it's the two that will come out and eventually arrest me I was nice to these two criminals I'm so sorry uh, we will meet again no doubt about this these two criminals too were involved in violence these two criminals too were involved in abuse but they were not physically as far as physically confronting me that I would recall involved in. Uh, the three-star criminal, however, if I go back to Borut Pahor, if I go back to the Robert Golot, just so that this thug who's gonna maybe meet me tomorrow again, not gonna think I did not identify him, I did, this thug, I'm not sure where he is from, because he posts on various locations. Uh, one location he posted was at Otochets. He claimed me that he is from uh, Schumpeter. Schumpeter is near Otochets. So this would be this would be This would be this location here. Oh. Shen Peter. Um, then he posted the torches where he would repeatedly demonstrate himself as somebody getting in a physical fights and always winning the physical fights. Uh, he acted like a bully who was on my side. Uh, and then there was another location and that was at the Ratish. Uh, I'll tell you about this location here. These are three locations where this thug post. Uh, the thing about him is from 1990, just about when I graduated from mechanical engineering technician, inside of our house, this individual who presented himself as somebody who was absolutely sided with me, who was on my side, Contrary to Borut Pahor and to Robert Golop, uh, I come to realize that this guy also attended university in Ljubljana. One thing I'm going to say to you, he did go to university in Ljubljana. Uh, he's not just so simple as they presented him during MKUltra as a police officer. It was everything so simple. But this thug is... This is basically a thug that have evolved into a top police officer with assistance of Milan Kucha and Borut Pahor. Just so it's not going to be a mistake about this individual, whether I did identify one or not. And they were, by the way, very disappointed about him choosing this kind of stuff because he said all the credentials they stated for other all kinds of jobs, more lucrative, etc., etc. But that he wanted to be a police officer. That's why tomorrow I would demand for individual to be criminally persecuted. I would demand individual to be arrested. Uh, police procedure against one based on violence, what I consider have taken place. I don't understand how come the hell I have this... Um, Oh, we'll see this. Yeah, I did a really good video. First, I uh, if you're going to watch this, you're going to see the original videos. And uh, then we're going to do, then what you're going to add, you're going to get my comment on it, which is the proper way to do this stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I guess it was... Uh, I was busy. I was quite busy, wasn't I? Probably I was very busy that day. And it was in the evening. 
than the next day that I had to the police station. So a timestamp camera, that's why I use one so that it would not be any uh, any kind of mistakes. But yeah, well, the two police officers are now identified. Uh, he was demonstrating me a boxing bag inside of his home also in the in the basement it has a boxing bag he had me at his home supposedly and he was punching that all nervous he was all the time that he was doing exercise and stuff uh, quite a character and also uh, connected to the British Royals this is that other part of this whole thing that this individual presented himself as somebody very very connected to the British Royals also a thug possibly hired by the British Royals to cause uh, problems very very serious problems as you see so I don't have anything else I would use to identify this criminal this criminal was involved in this Obviously, since he became a police officer, uh, no, he was involved in this stuff already before. The question is how much before, because I identify him. I know that I think that he um, popped up in my case sometimes at my age, probably 16, something like this, maybe 14, 16, something like that, that this would go as far as this. He did go, according to MK Ultra, to study to uh, Ljubljana, but I don't know how much, how long, what it took. His uh, studies, I have to think about that stuff. That's a, a very, very specific, from what I recall. From what I recall, it was like. I don't even know, like two years or something like that. Seems like he have off and on in that sense. So is what he claimed, so is what uh, so is what the situation was. So what uh, what they orchestrated to me on Friday, the twenty first of June. Uh, was more than attempt to provoke physical confrontation. It was more than just attempt to get me arrested. I hope you understand that if you start the physical confrontation at the police station, or you give the reason strong enough to the police to act uh, with violence against you, using uh, violence as a resort to restrain you, using actually using a restraint because they have the right to do that it's a normal thing that when in, at the police station or at, in any company of the police it doesn't matter where outside you can actually record the police uh, for your protection inside of the police is what the two thugs told me who met me the next day when I had it at the police station to do the whole recap about what took place um, you cannot video record and so I explained very good about what went on uh, beginning the my stay in Chicago yeah uh, I hope I did explain this that during my stay in Chicago when they started to play that is in 2008 is when they started to play it with the right to video record inside of the police station and not the right to video record inside of the police station. That's all. I don't have anything else I would add to this video. I like it. I like it. Uh, I like this. Uh, I like the way the things... I like the way uh, this... Uh, physical assault as I consider one have developed and it's not the same as to what 
the two insisted will be used together with the cops uh, as far as whatever took place at home. No, it's not the same thing. It's absolutely, it's not the same thing. Now, first of all, I didn't go and attack anybody. I was assaulted at home. I was assaulted at the police station. Uh, in both situations at home, repeatedly, I was assaulted by a husband from my niece. Repeatedly. It started in 1998 with Milan Kucha, 97, promising me to destroy me on my own parking lot at home. Behind the house. And it's very similar stuff that went on also, not as very similar stuff. Also at the police station, even outside of the police station, with the police officers pushing me, uh, throw me at the, against the floor in the back of the police station, wondering if there is somebody video recording the stuff outside, making sure that nobody would be recording anything outside. That's not what a police does, and that goes into, actually it goes beyond physical assault complaint, which I'm going to file tomorrow. This goes beyond, because it goes into the area of domestic terrorism, through the use of drugs, you know, but to hijack people and use a physical violence in them at a police station, the way I described, and then use this kind of issues to create Another physical incident under real circumstances which you would use to arrest individual, you're nobody, you don't have any kind of credentials, you don't have any kind of special authorizations to do that. Nobody gave you this kind of authorizations. Slovenian president cannot authorize you to act like this against the citizen of Slovenia who did not commit any crimes or is in any kind of violation with the law. So you acted on your own, you acted at your own um, responsibility, and you shall be responsible for that. You you will be held accountable for that stuff. individual who approached me, you see in an orange color, to the chair, uh, demanded from me, during MK Ultra, he said, uh, he will do something like this to also video record my face, because he wants to see what do I look like when the fight is about to break out with me, when somebody pushes me too hard. Uh, so... This absolutely glow, goes into the category of beyond physical assault. It definitely was a verbal assault. Uh, and the conduct itself goes into the area of physical assaults. Uh, you know, attempted to provoke physical assault. However, Concerning the circumstances I described that took place with this individual in MK Ultra, this individual repeatedly engaged in physical assault. Together also with the other individual, Karateka individual, whom I already have described the same day, he was, he too, I also have to participate, his trainings, Karate trainings during which he also pushed challenged, hit on occasion, uh, intimidated, guaranteed me that I don't have anyone that would testify for me that this is not happening, basically was hitting me, drugged up, and claiming that was not happening. So we're going to see tomorrow if it's happening or not. We'll see tomorrow if it's happening or not. I'm going to take a date and time. When this was recorded, I'm not going to say thank you very much for watching this video. I'm not going to say till next video. I'm going to say I hope you like it.
you better get used to it. <laughs>